After loading the program, setting up the bar loader and machine, and installing the tooling on the main side for the job, it is time to machine the first part on the main spindle. Since the job is new, it must be done at a slow speed, so any mistakes can be caught before damage is done. To provide better visibility for the operator, coolant can be turned off. It's easy to find the coolant M codes since the coolant is normally turned on at the beginning of the program. Here you see the M52 code to turn coolant on. The M53 code will turn coolant off. To change the code, press the Edit Mode button. Use the cursor keys to move the cursor between the 5 and 2 in the M52 code. Press the 3 key on the keypad, and the number 3 appears and the cursor moves to the right. To remove the 2 to the right of the cursor, press the Delete key. The 2 is deleted from the block. To complete the edit, press the Input key. The cursor jumps to the beginning of the next line. To check that the edit has been entered, press the Auto Mode button and check the program display. To perform the machining on the main spindle, press the Program Check button to begin. You will use the handle to control the movements. The handle can be turned both forward and back. On the soft key menu, select Handle and One Cycle. Notice that the black line is above the menu items when they are selected. Select the X10 level for the handle. The higher the number, the faster the movement. Press Cycle Start. As the handle is rotated clockwise, the machining movements begin. An air hose is used to cool the tools and blow the chips away. Be sure to wear safety glasses. Here the spindle is stopped rotating and the bar has been indexed into position so the end mill can mill the flats on either side of the piece. Here you see the subspindle moving in the Z2 plus direction to grip the part in the main spindle just before the part is cut off. When performing the cutoff without coolant, be sure to move the tool at a slow enough rate so you do not damage the tool.